Hi, I'm Katherine Grant, your local lifestyle real estate agent, and I am here with Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Katherine. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Thanks Good. for coming. Thank you for having me. Well, she has some exciting stuff to share with us today. She has a company, and it's called Becca Valley, and we're going to hear all about it. Yeah. So tell me, where did this begin? So a lot of people have um, you know, dreams of opening a company, and I'm just a registered nurse and working just a my, nurse. plugging my way along <laughs> at Beaumont Hospital, working with L&D, and um, we just started making hummus for our friends, and they loved it, and they wanted us to sell it, and I thought, mm, I'll try whatever. So we tried some local farmer's markets. We um, sold it at, Bo at Beaumont to the nurses. i come in with a little cooler, <laughs> coming to work. <laughs> and it would be gone in five or 10 minutes. Like all the hummus I made would be gone, all the chips. And I'm like, okay, well let's try farmer's markets and see if people that don't know me like my hummus. And same thing, gone. Like before the farmer's market would end, we'd be 100 tubs out. And I'm like, <laughs> so I told my husband and he's like, oh, they're just being nice, you know? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where our thing came from. Never underestimate the power of the chickpea is our logo. And it's because I told them, don't underestimate the power of the chickpea and the, <laughs> <laughs> the woman, <laughs> the chick. So yeah, and then it just kind of organically happened. And then we just started taking on some customers and rented out the space. And yeah, so today we're at a commercial kitchen and we're gonna see a little bit of behind the scenes what happens. So I know there's so much more, and we'll get into it a little bit. But what about your family? So, like, you know, tell me a little bit about your family, and also being a Rochester resident. So uh, my husband and I are originally from Toledo, Ohio, and we moved up here about six months after we got married. So we've been up here 30 years, <laughs> <laughs> and we moved um, to Sterling Heights for a couple months, and then to Rochester, and we've been there ever since. So my kids grew up in Rochester. I have four children. And uh, probably don't want to tell you their ages, but they're <laughs> age 19 to 28. It's all good. <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> so my daughter is a nurse like me, and she works in California. My son um, is a pharmaceutical sales rep in Lansing. My other son, Huss, is my right-hand man and will take over this business, business yes. one day. He does everything for me. Without him, I could not do anything. And then my young son, Samir, is at MSU, a sophomore. Wonderful. But all the kids have worked here at some point in their life, whether they liked it or not. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure they eat all your products that you make yeah. too. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, and very then my good. husband, engineer, and um, he does all my business stuff. He's the business mind. He's so smart about all the business stuff. He's like, Lauren, you need to read this book. Lauren, you need to do this. <laughs> so you're the chef, he's so the business I'm mind. the front man. Yes. And well, then those guys are the front woman. Yes. <laughs> and then the guys are behind the scenes and very yeah. good. Yeah. So I know you started off in Rochester at the farmer's market. My and first Rochester. And my first um, <laughs> retail sales location was the Cheese Lady in Rochester. I love that. Yeah, yes. we met at the farmer's market. It was our first year, both of us, Kimberly and I, uh -huh. and her other partner from before. And um, they were like, when winter comes, let's sell at our place. It's going to open. And I think it was like November or something. And it was like a giant snowstorm that day. <laughs> and we just sat there. But um, it was my first retail location and it went so great. That's and so excellent. I've been there for seven years with them. Wow. Yeah. So tell me a little bit what the community means to you. Like what does Rochester mean to you? You know, Rochester is like a, like a big city with a hometown feel, I think. I mean, we love it. We lived right in, um, right south of downtown, and then now we live a couple miles north of downtown, and just the community. They just seem to like rally around you. Like when we're not at the farmer's market, they want to know where we are and what's going on and if we're okay. And we sell all around Rochester, and it's just that homey feeling that I don't think you get anywhere else around here. You There's probably a couple little cities like that, but I agree. Rochester's special for sure. It sure is. So she's not all about hummus. There's many other products. So why don't you touch on a few of the products? We've got one behind us. Yes. So these are our baked um, sea salt and olive oil chips. And we literally cut them by hand, toss them by hand, and then throw them on baking trays and bake them in the oven. Those will be gone this week. We, <laughs> we literally make about 500 bags a week and they're gone. Wow. And then we also have marinades and dressings. Mm -hmm. We have patouche salad dressing. We have marinades for chicken and for beef. We have our green signature garlic dip. Nobody has green garlic dip except for Becca Bailey. 
And uh, it's um, one of our signature things. We have a classic hummus, a roasted red pepper hummus, your favorite habanero. Yes, I love spicy <laughs> And then we have stuff. a zesty one, and that's really good too. It's got the seasonings from our patouche salad dressing. So we Very sell good. all those at the local grocers as well. And then um, for um, our, about your big deal. Oh. <laughs> that big deal! Yes! <laughs> so we um, got a deal with Comerica Park in our first couple years in business and we've been taking food down there ever since. Unfortunately with COVID things kind of took a dive and um, it's not as like great as it used to be but we did Comerica Park. We were the home of the shawarma nacho <laughs> and they did a shawarma um, patouche salad and the first year we were there we beat the hamburger and the second year they beat the hot dog in sales. Wow. That's and it was, we used to have our own little shawarma. It wasn't ours, it wasn't Becca Valley. It was Comer Park's chefs that did everything. We just took all the marinades and all the stuff to make it. It was amazing. And then um, we got into Little Caesars Arena as well. So we um, cater their suites and catering and Players Club and things like that. And then we're in a handful of um, local grocery stores. And then uh, one of our main gigs is um, Beaumont. Um, eight different Beaumont locations and six different Henry Fords where we have grab and go foods in their cafeterias. And I just saw, saw a sample of that. I mean, the fridge opens, everything's packaged. And I mean, that's just such yeah. a great place because for being a nurse, they needed to have something healthy. Yes. Yeah. And that kind of served a great purpose yep. for you. Yep. So what does five year plan look like for you? Like, where are you going? What are you going to do next? I'm hoping to explode. <laughs> Hopefully not eternally, but yeah. Um, so we're, we just bought a building Ooh. and we're trying to build that out right now. I'm hoping to be there in 2023 where we can like gross manufacture our products. Still want to make that small quantity, like small speaking, batch. yeah, we make 85 containers at a time. We can make it down to five containers at a time and every mixing is, you know, a little tiny bit different, but it always tastes exactly the same and we're hoping to get it on a truck and everywhere yep. and I just a really that. quick thing um, Costco called me one day out of the blue and wants to have product there uh, we're just not ready for that okay. I don't want to go in and fail but one day that's gonna goal. be in Costco that's wonderful <laughs> well how can I find you on social media we kind of touched on this a little bit yes. so. so right now we have a Facebook page and it directly feeds into our website so we have a website too it's beccavalley.com and our Facebook page is Becca Valley and we have an Instagram page, which is not that great, but it's an Instagram We're gonna page for now. <laughs> yeah, we'll work on that. And um, you can find out like where we sell and our hours. And Wonderful. And we also have a store here that you can walk in and buy stuff. You can walk right in here. It's um, in Shelby Township. And you can purchase stuff right out of the fridge, usually made same day or day before. I love it. Well, Lauren, thank you so much. You're an amazing hey. woman. Thanks. Really appreciate you having me here today. Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it too. You're very welcome. I'm Katherine Grant, and this is my community. Thanks again for watching another episode. If you know another business in Rochester that we should interview, please don't hesitate to reach out.